Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl in your face while you're sleeping. A starry sky and a warm summer's night is a beautiful view to behold. We tend to focus mainly on the wonders of space, how it could save our planet, how we can make contact with other friendly civilizations, and how we could learn about the natural marvels that we can only begin to imagine. And if the sky seems way beyond our reach, the humankind finds comfort in the soothing scenery from the nature that surrounds us every day. From mountains higher than the clouds to the oceans deeper than we can explore, the world is full of wonders, and yet we are keen to oversee a few key things every now and then. You see, the whole universe is filled with stuff that can not only harm us, but can literally destroy Earth as we know it. From burning balls of gas, to violent bursts of deadly radiation, to the sun removing all of our water resources. Here are the top 10 things that can destroy Earth. Let's go! Number 10. Nuclear War Let's get the most obvious thing out of the way, shall we? A small-scale nuclear war is enough to put an end to the whole planet Earth. Not even a global nuclear, just a small one. Let's say between two-third world nuclear-powered countries such as India and Pakistan would be enough to end the planet. India and Pakistan aren't exactly nuclear powerhouses. That elite club is reserved for the US and Russia, who combined own almost 95% of the world's 14,000 nuclear warheads. It's estimated that India and Pakistan each have about 150 warheads. Relatively, it's not a whole lot, but practically, it's still enough to wreak havoc. The aftermath of such a small nuclear war would be so catastrophic that it would slowly end all life. It would start off with the environment hazards and the climate would change. This would be followed by a severe global food shortage and probably starvation lasting more than a decade. Let's just hope all countries equipped with nuclear weapons keep them stored away and we never get to see these bombs in action. Ever. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9, Asteroid. Every day, Earth is pelted by dust and rocks falling from space. Luckily for us, most of them will burn up in the atmosphere. Unluckily for the dinosaurs, once every few million years an asteroid the size of a small town hits. In fact, 66 million years ago, a 10 kilometer long asteroid crashed into the planet's surface, creating a 177 kilometer crater that wreaked havoc on our climate. It destroyed species that roamed Earth for over 170 million years. While an asteroid is unlikely to destroy the planet, Scientists at NASA believe that anything over 2 kilometers in length could have damning consequences for our civilization. Enter 4179 Tutaris. This 5.4 kilometer asteroid makes frequent flybys past a number of planets, including Earth. Though the chance of collision is tiny, the asteroid's chaotic orbit makes flight path impossible to predict. Earth's next close encounter is set to be in 2069. So let's hope NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office is up to the job. Number 8. Gamma Ray Burst As the name suggests, gamma ray bursts are very powerful bursts of deadly gamma radiation. We aren't clear on their origin, but it's thought they are caused by colliding neuron stars or black holes. Usually energy from a star is released in many forms. During a neuron star collision, the two magnetic fields combine. This forces a large amount of energy to be released in a focused beam of gamma radiation. The release can be so powerful that it creates a burst of light halfway across the universe that can be seen from Earth. So how deadly are gamma ray bursts? Well that depends on how far away they are and if you're caught in the firing line. Most gamma ray bursts are harmless by the time they've reached us. But scientists believe that a gamma ray burst occurs every 5 million years that could be powerful enough to affect Earth. It could be the end of our ozone layer and the end of life on Earth. Number 7. Solar Storm A solar storm is any eruption on the Sun's surface. They usually have no effect on Earth, 
but sometimes they release enough magnetic energy to travel along the sun's magnetic field to our own. This is known as a coronal mass ejection and can cause a number of strange events, most notably electrical surges and blackouts. In 1859, the largest solar storm in modern history was recorded by scientists. It was called the Carrington Effect, and it was the result of a mega flare that created incredible amounts of geometric disturbances on Earth. The event was so massive that the northern lights could be seen in Honolulu and the southern lights in Chile. At the time, there wasn't much sensitive electronic equipment in operation around the world, but telegraph operators reported sparks leaping from their equipments, sometimes even starting fires. Researchers say that a geomagnetic storm of that magnitude could paralyze modern life if it were to happen today. It could disrupt communications, affect satellites, and even bring down the power grid. Some studies indicate that a solar megastorm could cripple modern satellites for a decade. But the scariest part, many scientists believe that it's only a matter of time before a solar megastorm of this magnitude hits our planet in the future. It's a rare occurrence, but it's certainly not impossible. Number 6. Shifting Magnetic Fields Earth's molten iron core generates a remarkable magnetic field. This plays a vital role in how species navigate and protect us from the sun's harmful radiation. Every 200 to 300,000 years, the poles shift, reversing Earth's magnetic field. What we know as the magnetic north pole becomes the magnetic south pole. As it's been 800,000 years since the last magnetic flip, we're due for another. Unfortunately for us, this flip doesn't happen immediately. In fact, the reversal is extremely slow, taking up to 10,000 years to complete. During this time, the magnetic field moves around the planet, creating temporary smaller magnetic poles dotted across the Earth and weakening its overall strength. This leaves us exposed to DNA destroying radiation. If the magnetic field disappears altogether, there will be some devastating consequences. Number 5. Alien Invasion What is the current evidence of an alien invasion? Spaceships in the Baltic Sea, personal accounts of alien abductions, and the claim of former Canadian Defence Minister Paul Hellier that there's at least four alien species living among us. The debate of the existence of aliens is ongoing. However, with the acceptance that most suns come with a solar system of planets, that solar systems are bundled into galaxies and that there could be up to 200 billion galaxies in the universe, it seems almost far-fetched to think that we're the only intelligent life form out there. Some of the world's top scientists, including Stephen Hawking, proclaim that extraterrestrial life exists. In fact, there's been a real push in the last five years to make contact. But Hawking talks of dangers of reaching out to societies who intentions we know nothing about. A civilization reading one of our messages could be billions of years ahead of us and vastly more powerful. They may not see us any more valuable than we see bacteria. If history has taught us anything, it's that the less advanced tend to fare far worse when it comes to war. Number 4. Losing the Moon The Moon is drifting away from Earth at a rate of 3.8 centimeters or 1.5 inches every year. Though it's impossible for it to move away entirely, it does beg the question, what if our moon disappeared? Picture it. A giant Earth-destroying asteroid heads this way, but it just hits the moon instead. What would happen then? Well, as the largest gravitational pull nearby, the moon's dust would reform and collect around the Earth as a ring, just like Saturn's. Meteorites would break off into these rings, constantly slamming into Earth's surface, destroying anything in their path. The loss of the moon's gravitational pull would also have terrible effects on climate and weather. Tidal drag from the moon slows our planet's rotation. Without it, days would become 10 hours long, and the Earth would tilt a further 60 degrees, plunging our steady seasons into turmoil. This occurs when the velocity of a star is so great that it's able to leave its galaxy, traveling freely across the universe at tens of thousands of kilometers per second. These huge balls of nuclear power burn through everything in their path and destroy the delicate balance of planetary orbits they pass. 
Luckily for Earth, only around a dozen of these hypervelocity stars have ever been discovered. The chances of actually encountering one in our vast universe are tiny. Of course, that won't stop one from obliterating us if it decides to shoot through our solar system. Get ready for today's top pick, something that would leave us high and dry. Number 2. Loss of Water Our Sun is currently at the stage of its life cycle where it's classified as a main sequencing star. At this stage, it is mostly stable and spends its time peacefully converting hydrogen into helium. The good news? A star of the size of our Sun is usually spent about 8 billion years in this phase. This means that the Sun is estimated to be about 4.5 billion years old still has quite a bit of life left in it. But the bad news, well as the sun burns hydrogen, it also increases in brightness at a rate about 10% every billion years or so. A 10% increase in luminosity would change the hospital zone of our solar system, which would lead us to catastrophic changes for our world. A 10% increase in brightness would make Earth hot enough that our oceans would begin to evaporate. Unfortunately, after the sun begins to evaporate the oceans, things do not get any better. There is obviously some speculation about what exactly would happen, but scientists generally agree that as the oceans continue to evaporate, more water will begin getting trapped in our atmosphere. Eventually our oceans would boil, and the cycle will continue until the ground is dry and mostly water is contained within the atmosphere at an extremely high temperature. If there's any water left in the atmosphere, that means that there's still hope for humans and life in general, right? Well, not exactly. As the sun continues its transformation into a red giant, the water that is saturating the atmosphere will be bombarded by solar energy. This will eventually lead to the molecules being split apart, allowing the water to escape the atmosphere as oxygen and hydrogen. Number 1. The Dead Sun Different models predict different endings for our planet, but where the sun is concerned there is really only one main area of disagreement. How long will it take? Some models suggest that life will blink out quickly and that our planet will become a barren chunk of rock within the next billion years. Others suggest that some form of life might hold on a little longer than that, based on the complexity of some of the systems at work. Eventually, as our star becomes a red giant, Forces causing compression at its center will allow its surface to expand outward. Our sun, which is presently white hot, will cool and become red hot. However, it will grow larger, burn brighter, and eventually drag Earth into its fiery destruction within its massive red surface. Or maybe the Earth will move further away as the sun loses mass, but either way, our planet will be an unrecognizable dead husk and that will be the end of the Earth. Many scientists agree that the distant future, our Sun, will likely one day shrink down to a white dwarf before running out completely of fuel and becoming a planetary nebula. Researchers believe that this will take about 10 billion years, but what are the odds of humans being around to witness it? Thank you so much for watching today's video, we hope that you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more great content.